you know, what I'm showing is that three and a half tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil have about 55 milligrams of polyphenols and that's 420 calories. Whereas you could eat 23 calories of plums and get 188 milligrams, 16 calories of red onions and get 84 milligrams, 290 calories of almonds uh, and get 94 milligrams of the polyphenol. So my point being is that there's smarter ways to get your polyphenols than olive oil. This is a clip from the recent debate between Dr. Garth Davis and Rip Esselstyn on the topic of olive oil. One reason that Dr. Davis advocates for olive oil consumption is that it can be a source of polyphenols, which may have beneficial effects on artery function and other biomarkers leading to the reduction in cardiovascular risk that we see in longer term studies. But Rip argues that the polyphenol content is relatively low compared to some other foods, so we should eat those instead without the calorie density of olive oil. However, I think this is flawed logic for a few reasons. Reason one is that the foods he listed are used in very different ways. You aren't going to saute vegetables in plums. Instead, we can compare the polyphenol content of extra virgin olive oil to other oils or even water, which a lot of people in the whole foods plant-based community saute in, and olive oil comes out on top. The second reason is that different polyphenols can have different effects on our health. So we can't just look at total polyphenol content and treat them as all equal. The specific types that are concentrated in olive oil may have unique benefits. And the third reason is that you can almost always find a food that is higher in polyphenols than some other food. Should we not consume grapes because blackberries are higher in polyphenols and lower in calorie density? Should we avoid cabbage or even consider it detrimental because broccoli provides more polyphenols? That's where Rip's line of reasoning could lead. What I would consider much more valuable here is the actual health outcome data. And olive oil is very consistently associated with a lower risk of cardiovascular disease, numerous cancers, and all-cause mortality. Plus, the reduction in cardiovascular disease risk that we see with olive oil is actually comparable to even whole foods like nuts and avocado, which many people in the whole foods plant-based community advocate for.